Every year, millions are captivated by Florida's dazzling springs. But beneath their sparkling surface lies a deep history few have ever imagined. Imagine a world dominated by giants. That's what the Ice Age was. The Florida Springs are an, an incredibly rich site for Ice Age fossils. Uh, these animals lived on the banks of the rivers and as they, they died, their bones fell into the springs. Florida's landscapes are unique because they're full of these, of, of these sinkholes. Today, there are rivers that flow over these sinkholes and there are natural springs that come out of them. And paleontologists can go out there and find the bones of things like mammoths and mastodons. The Florida Museum is the second largest museum in the country and the fifth largest in the world. Uh, and with over a million fossils, we have one of the most significant collections of Cenozoic life in North America. Florida is home to over a thousand springs. Some, like Devil's Den, are sinkholes containing extraordinary Ice Age deposits. Devil's Den is like a lot of our sinkhole sites in Florida with crystal clear water. And if you snorkel there or dive there, you can dive down and actually see the bones of these extinct mammoths and mastodons. And some of the largest springs deliver more than 65 million gallons of fresh water every single day. That is the case of Silver Springs State Park, one of the top destinations in Florida. At the heart of this magnificent landscape stands a museum of natural history. If you get a chance and go over to Silver Springs, the glass bottom boats is actually the biggest attraction that they have over there. Besides uh, them renting uh, canoes and kayaks and like that so you can explore. thousands of years, these springs have been a cradle of life. As we've learned so much about the extinction of these species and what caused them, we can make sure that these living megafauna, like these, these elephants and, and rhinos, don't go extinct. And it's kind of sad because if they, they do, the largest land mammal left is going to be a cow. And that's not a kind of world that I want to live in.